Hi, today I will show you how to add slidable repeaters for your Wix website. First, you want to have a collection, and this is my collection. It has a title, an image, a subtitle, and you got to make sure you have a dynamic page for that collection. So now, you want to go to a page. You want to add a new page not any page actually you want to add a new page where you want to display the repeater slidable repeaters onto so first of all we're going to click on add we're going to scroll down to embed to custom embed then we're going to click embed a widget according to this right here why you've added your custom embedded widget you want to go up here and place it however you want to place it let's bring it down by 10 you can also left click go to stretch and stretch the full width this gives it a better wider view for your visitors but for now we're going to leave it in regular okay so now you want to go on ahead and copy this HTML embedded code. Left click on it. You want to copy that. Then you want to paste that code inside of your HTML embedded widget and click on update. Now it's time for you to copy the page code to your page code. So go on here, copy this, open your developer tools. If you don't have it open, you can turn on dev mode or turn off the developer mode. So now you want to highlight everything and then paste it. So now that you've pasted everything from this source right here, if you already have some of this imported, you don't have to delete everything. You could just paste a new line and you could delete some overlapped functions you already have. I'm gonna go ahead and do all of that. So now if we preview our page, we're going to receive an error saying my collection wasn't found because it does not exist. What you want to do now is replace replace my collection with the title of your collection. So let's go to manage content, edit settings, and you can see the classes ID. You could copy that if you're not sure what your ID is. And then you can highlight the my collection and paste it. Now you pasted that. If you preview the page once more, there's gonna be no errors, but it's not gonna pass any data because the ID is not yet set up inside of this widget. Now what you wanna do is click on w3schools.com so what I'm gonna do is go in here again and copy this HTML embedded code highlight all of this and then overlap it by pasting the one I already have so we're not gonna be running it because what we're just gonna do is change the ID since it's more comfortable to change the text here than it is in Wix because Wix gives you a very small space and you can't really get that comfortable. Now it's time to change the title of the HTML embedded widget and you're going to be seeing the title right there if you scroll all the way to here. So title.innerHTML, you're going to change this text collection ID to 
whatever your ID is inside your classes. So we're going to click the title. We're going to copy this ID and then we're going to paste that right there. Next, you want to change your image. You want to set the image source image collection ID which will be this one. Another thing to note is make sure the image is not a URL. It has to be type image. It has to also be a Wix direct image, not a URL. So I'm gonna copy this and then we're gonna pay change the image SRC image collection ID. We're gonna paste that right over there. Next, you want to change the subtitle text. We're going to replace the subtitle in the HTML text collection ID. We're going to replace it with our subtitle or really whatever text you want to put there. We're going to copy that. Then we're going to go over here to subtitle in the HTML, replace the text collection ID with subtitle. And now we're basically done. All you have to do, Control A, Control C, go back inside your Wix editor, close this collection window, close the side menu bar, click on edit code, and then replace all of the code. And once you click update, minimize this, and if you preview the window, you should see the code should work exactly as planned. Now you notice you're going to be seeing duplicates, football war came out twice and this is because I purposefully added the same array inside the same array making it double array and then I run a shuffle function that shuffles it up and then passes the array right there. In other cases if you have a reference collection Make sure to add the reference field above the find collection. Now it's going to reference, it's going to include whatever reference collection you have inside of this array. And to make sure it comes out, you're going to do. Let's assume you want to do a reference subtitle. You're going to do subtitle what the ID is dot what you're trying to find whatever the ID is title and that's pretty much it be sure to subscribe to our website and our YouTube channel